I'm going to show you how to make shoe pastry using the thermal mix. And for this we need 125 gra grams of plain flour, a pinch of salt, a pinch of sugar, four eggs, 100 grams of butter or margarine, and 250 milliliters of water. We we'll also, also need a piping bag and nozzle. So to start this we're going to weigh out the water and the butter. So I'm just going to set this to weighing scales and I'm going to measure it to 250 mils of water. And to this I add 100 grams of butter. Okay, so that's a total of 350. Now we're going to heat this for the lid on and we're going to heat this at 100 degrees for 7 minutes or until the water and butter come to the boil. Okay, so our butter and water have heated. So we're just going to take the lid off and there we go. Now I'm going to turn our thermal mix to scales and I'm going to add in a pinch of salt, a pinch of sugar and I'm going to add the 125 grams of flour. I have my butterfly already in the thermal mix Okay. Okay, so I pop the lid back on. And what we need now to do is we need to cook out the flour. So I'm going to turn this on to speed three at 100 degrees. So there's 100 degrees. I'm going to put it on for five minutes. And I'm going to turn it to speed three. Okay, our mix has been cooking for five minutes now. So we, what we need to do now is we need to take the mix off and let it cool before we add the eggs. This, will, this should usually take about 10-15 minutes. So I just take the bowl off and I leave to the side. Okay, our shoe pastry has now cooled. So we put it back into the thermal mix. And what we're going to do now is we're going to whip in the eggs one by one into the dough. So I put the lid back on and we're going to do this on speed five. So I'm going to turn the machine slowly build it up to five. about 30 seconds to for the egg to incorporate then we add egg number two Egg 
Now we have whipped in the egg, we should have a lovely fluffy yellow consistency. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove the mix from the Thermomix bowl, and I'm going to put it into another bowl, just easy for scooping, and I'm just going to put on my oven, and I'm going to preheat the oven at 200 to 220 degrees. Okay, so I've transferred the shoe pastry to a bowl, and now I'm going to get ready for piping out. So what I've done is, I get myself a glass, and my pipe and bag and put my plain nozzle inside. Now I, have to, I just fold down about an inch from the top and I place that in my glass. It just holds the pipe and bag. So it's easy to spoon in the mix. I'm just going to three quarters fill the bag, just so for comfort in piping. Okay. Now just fold over the top of the pipe bag and just work down the mix, okay? And then we grip it between our finger and our thumb, and we kind of roll it up into into our grip. And that's how we get the pipe bag ready. So I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to get my tray ready. So I just take some butter or margarine and I just gently cover the tray. Two different ones here. This will just stop the buns from sticking. Okay. So I'll dust that with some flour. Okay. Now, we're going to start by piping some sh shoe buns. And how we start is we just make a simple circle. And then when we come round to its tail, we just come up on itself and into the centre and ending in a little point. So round and up and into a little peak. And we just leave the same amount of space between each so the shoe bone has somewhere to rise. Okay, I'm just going to place these into my oven. Okay, so I'm just going to put some more shoe pastry into my piping bag. Okay, the last ones we piped were shoe buns, and these ones I'm going to do are eclairs. Okay, they're just a different shape and what we do is we keep our hand in the one place and just let the let it flood out onto the tray and then slowly work along. Okay. I'm just going to put them into the oven, into the oven for 30 minutes at 220. Okay, so we have baked our shoe pastry and our filler rolls and our eclairs. And we have now let them cool. And here's our profiteroles. 
nice and crispy. And here's the long eclair ones we've done. Now I've just gone ahead and I have halved them and I have put some melted chocolate on top. I've, I went ahead and I melted the chocolate in the Thermomix. I used a 70% uh, chocolate, very good quality chocolate. And I, I also grinded up some hazelnuts. And I sliced some strawberries and I whipped some cream. I just went ahead and I halved the eclairs and I put a little bit of cream in. The cream is sweetened with a little bit of icing sugar and vanilla essence. And just simply lay out a few strawberries. These can be these can be filled with anything. Uh, maybe creme patisserie, like a really thick custard. Um, you could flavour the cream. You could even liquidise up any of your fruits forced and then whip the cream. All can be done with the Thermomix. They can also be, uh, they don't need to be sweet, they can be savoury. You can make uh, like a chicken mousse or you can do spinach and uh, a soft cheese mousse. I'll just put the tops on them then. Okay. And just sprinkle some hazelnut over the top. Just gives a nice texture. And then for these little guys, I have filled some of them already. So just to fill them, just make a little hole in the in the in the base. And in goes your pipe nozzle. And fill with cream. Okay, so just make a little hole, take your cream, and just pipe it into the center. And then when you've that done, just take your little profiterole and just dip into the chocolate. Mmm. -hmm. Then dip into the hazelnut. Okay. Into the chocolate. Let's get a nice coating. A little bit messy, but good fun. Into the hazelnut. Okay, so there we go. That's just some ideas for some uh, profiteroles done on the Thermomix and I hope you enjoy.